Hey, it's Kwesi Millington here, Certified Public Speaking Coach. And today I'm talking about how to be calm and confident. I get a lot of questions online about how to be confident when you speak and how to maintain your nerves before and during your speech. So it really comes down to three things and you're gonna get them right now. Now, when it comes to being calm and confident, there are three no's, K-N-O-W, to know. And the first no is to know your material. There's an old saying that says that prior preparation prevents poor performance. That's your five P's. When you prepare, you're automatically going to be at least a little bit more confident when you go on stage or when you have to present in front of a group or room of people. And the thing is, you need to know what you're going to say. You don't have to memorize everything you're going to say. Do this. Memorize the very first line or two that's going to come out of your mouth. The reason you want to do that is because you're the most nervous in the beginning. And once you get into a flow, once you get going, you tend to get more calm as you go along. But the worst and most frustrating part of a speech is getting going, just getting the flow going. So understand the first lines you're going to say are the most important. So make sure you memorize those. Next, memorize your clothes. A lot of times you'll see speakers on stage or in front of people and they're wrapping up, but you think they ended at a few different points in their conclusion. They'll say, oh, to, I'll close with this. And then they say, okay, to wrap up. And then they'll say, okay, my final words. And sometimes that will be in the same speech. And you can tell that it hasn't been a properly constructed conclusion. And people remember the last things you say. So make sure you know you're opening your close and make sure you know your points. Outline your speech, what you're going to say, whether you use an acronym or alliteration, that's the same letter, or just points that you're going to go through. And as long as you have those no's down pat, know your opening, know your close, and know your outline, you can fill in the rest and you'll be okay. Next, know your audience. Remember these three R's when you're thinking about your audience. Research, relate, and rapport. Research your audience, first of all. Know who they are and what they want and how you can help them. Next is relate to them. How is what you've gone through relatable to what your audience goes through on a daily basis. And finally, rapport. Build rapport with your audience by speaking to them before you start your speech. Get in the room early, mix and mingle, know who you're speaking to, and make some friends in the audience before you ever get started. That's one way to build that confidence. Then you're speaking to at least a couple of new friends in the room, not just strangers that you think are going to judge you. Finally, know yourself. Know the parts of the presentation where you tend to be a little bit more nervous. If there's a part of your speech or your presentation that you know, as soon as you say it, it may be a little bit controversial or it may ruffle some feathers and you feel like you may have a sticking point in that part of your presentation, memorize that. Go through that one part of the presentation over and over again so it just comes out because you've practiced it so many times and you don't stumble over your words. Know when you get nervous during your speech. So record yourself and go back and watch the tape or listen to your recording and you'll find patterns. For instance, I know that the first few seconds of a speech is when I get most nervous. If I know that about myself, I know that number one, I'm gonna memorize the first lines that come out of my mouth so that I get into a pattern of flow right away. And secondly, I know that if I slow down at the beginning of my speech, I will be more calm. Literally, I will slow down right in the beginning because that way I feel calm and then the rest of the speech tends to flow a lot better. So make sure you know these three no's. If you do, you know yourself, you know your audience, and you know your material, you will 100% be more calm and confident when you speak.